The title of this piece is A Better Promise, and it's based on a few paintings that I've done, one of which is called The Bad Promise, which has to do with this character in one of my stories that I wrote, it's sort of a Moses character where he's trying to offer salvation to this race of creatures, and he does that through offering them color. And he tries to explain to them that this is something that will help you find yourself. And ultimately, he didn't follow through with his promise of, of this better life. And this hand with the holes in it became sort of a symbol of maybe information falling through the holes or something isn't quite right. And I liked that hand as a symbol. Yeah, it's a better promise. It has to do with hope, color, you know, connecting with people, connecting with the community. You know, people are encouraged to bring in their plastic tops, which are, in a way, the surrogates for the color of salvation. The plastic tops have been a part of my vocabulary for many, many years. As a child, I used to go around the house and open up all the cabinets and take all the tops off of everything and, and play with them like they were toys because to me they looked like toys. They were the same material and uh, same color. In some ways I feel like the piece is tailor-made for, for this environment. It's always raining here, you know, not just raining, raining, but there's just this constant veil of mist. And then of course the idea that Seattle was so eco-conscious about you know, recycling and what do we do with our plastics. I've wanted to be an artist ever since I was three. I know that because I ha it's written. <laughs> I wrote it myself. You know, there's little things like, what do you want to be when you grow up? At three years old, I was like, a painter. Not an artist, but very specifically, a painter. Throughout high school, I was cultivating my skills as a cartoonist, but Immediately after school, I went to college and learned about different histories of art, painting, and sculpture, and performance, and I wanted to do that too. So ultimately, I think I just smashed it all together and created kind of a new format for myself. It deals heavily with ideas of storyboarding and narration and having a directorial distance from the work, but also I like being in it, you know, I like getting messy with the paint. I like sculpting things and moving materials around. So it never was one or the other. Seattle has turned into a big giant canvas for me and I'm excited to collaborate with the community. I'm hopeful that people will come in with their own stories and apply those to what they see in the park.